This is a demonstration of what happens when an IMU goes bad on RGCopter 3.2 running on a Pixhawk. So a Pixhawk has a backup IMU uh, along with other uh, sensors. Uh, so theoretically it should be able to transition uh, nicely from a failed IMU to the uh, backup IMU. Uh, but that doesn't always happen, um, mostly due to uh, you know, software limitations that we'll eventually correct. In any case, until that happens, I just wanted to give a demonstration of, of what you can expect to happen if in, you have an IMU failure. And I should add, this is extremely unlikely, um, but it, we have seen a couple of cases um, over, over a few months. I've uh, set it up so that it's currently running DCM and inertial nav, which is the default. So there it is, just raised it. You can see the climb rate has gone to a very fast you know, seven meters per second. The altitude has gone negative, the position uh, has moved off to something quite unusual, although it's now coming back. Uh, the attitude seems good still. Attitude seems totally fine. I'm moving the board around. The output throttle is of course also totally fine because that's completely under manual control. So now I'm going to uh, repeat the test uh, with EKF enabled. So to enable the EKF, I go into the config tuning, uh, full parameter tree, HRS EKF use. I change that to be one write that parameter. I'll raise channel 6 about 50%. There it is. It's gone crazy. And you can see its position also runs off, much like inertial nav. It's actually gone much further than inertial nav did. Oops, it's gone out of frame. But now it's coming back. Came back for a moment and now it's running off again. You can see though that the, um, the altitude and climb rate are fine. They did not go off like the um, like inertial nav did. Uh, the attitude is also fine. Okay, so the uh, overall conclusion is that um, uh, with the inertial nav, i.e. with DCM plus inertial nav, the default for 3.2, uh, the climb rate and altitude go crazy. So you would very likely see your vehicle shoot up into the air. Uh, the attitude remains good, however. Uh, the position also runs off by about 150 meters and then returns which means that um, if you were in loiter mode, you would see it you know, careen off um, for a while and then perhaps recover. Uh, with EKF enabled, it looks like uh, the vehicle would not shoot up into the air. It looks like it, uh, it maintains a good altitude and climb rate, uh, but its horizontal position is, is still very bad. So just like DCM uh, in inertial nav, it would also careen off into some strange direction if, um, if you were in loiter.